Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today we're going to show you a beautiful 1957 Ford Fairlane 500 with a retractable hardtop roof. We're going to take it for a test drive, let you decide if this is what you want to put in your collection. It has been completely serviced by Keith's Rods and Customs. That's our local partner for, uh, for servicing these types of vehicles and they did a great job. They fixed the convertible top, they did a complete service on the engine, put brand new tires on it and ensured that we could take it for a spin and let you guys have a fun, drivable ride for the weekends. Let's go into full details on it. Thanks again. If you guys like this type of content, click on the link below, like and subscribe. Thanks. Overall condition, I would rate this a driver quality Fairlane. Um, we did service it completely. You can drive it on the highway with no issues, new tires. I'd rate it a 6 out of 10 because there are minor imperfections throughout. It shows exceptionally well, but I want you guys to look at all the photos in our gallery so you can see if the, the, the imperfections. We, we document everything so you guys can have an honest purchase. We don't want anybody to be unhappy, and that's why we've been in business for over 11 years, 2,500 cars sold. And let's go back into details on this one. I rambled on, I'm sorry. Uh, front end is extremely clean. Small imperfection right here on the front end. Tail lights, headlights work. Chrome bumper is extremely nice. It does have the Continental kit, so if it wasn't long enough already, now it's basically 18 inches longer with that bumper add-on. Tires are brand new. Uh, the center caps are very nice, and the actual wheels are painted to match the body color on the bottom side. So you have a two-tone design spread apart with a chrome trim with chrome trim and bright work. Your mirrors are tight; they don't they're not loose and dangling everywhere. Engine bay is very clean. We purchased this out of a collection in North Carolina. Uh, unfortunately, the gentleman passed away, but he had a huge collection of cars, and it was sold at an auction there. Uh, we, we purchased it. We had to go through it. It does have some nice features. So it does have an aluminum radiator. It does have vintage air, uh, modern stereo, and as I said, the top works as it should now. Uh, glass is very nice. Hood is very nice. There's no dents in it. Let's go down the driver's side first. So body line's extremely straight. I see a small imperfection on the bright work right here. Body works nice. You have the hit it hideaway key. So you have to slide this to get to the key. Door cards are even and they match. Steering wheel is very nice. The dash is nice. Small crack on the steering wheel here. Uh, you can see the vintage air controls right there. I don't know if we actually service that, but uh, we'll find out when we take it for the test drive. You have seat belts. Uh, all of your chrome up here is very nice with minor markings. Your glass goes up and down easily. A little bit of delamination. Let's put this back down. Carpet is nice. It looks like it's been replaced at some point. Small imperfections in the carpet, just little smudge marks. Gas fill is right here. Bright work all the way to the rear is very nice. You do have a spare tire. And then the Continental kit with the chrome that looks very good. I would rate the chrome like an eight out of 10. It shows very well. And then we're giving that paint rating or that overall rating that six because there are imperfections throughout. So you can see a small little uh, imperfection right here. Tail lights are amazing on these. They look like, like turbines. The whole body Layout is beautiful. Rear quarter is very nice on the passenger side. We do not have the fender skirts. You can see the retractable key hole. Doors are solid. The rubber looks good. Door cards are very nice. Driver's side fender is very nice as well. And what I'll do is I'll start it and we'll actually put the top up for you so you can see how it works. It's a long process, so I don't know if they're going to fast forward it or not, but thank you. But it's neat. There's four basic, uh, there's four so or switches that have to be hit in order for it to work properly. Starts up easily. You have your top switch right here, so we're going to start working on it. Little screws that are releasing, and then you have the deck lid that's going to fold back as a second step. 
You can see there's a little storage compartment right there and where they serviced it, they, they took the actual uh, material off the side. So our top is gonna fold up. I call this the duck bill. It's gonna fold up and, and align into this position right here. It's gonna screw into place, which it's doing right now. Your top is gonna fold. We just have to adjust that, that switch back there. We'll do that before it leaves. And then it screws into place. And you're good to go. Look at how beautiful it is now with the top up. You have your Skyliner insignia on the sides. Beautiful package tray back here. All of your bright works very nice throughout. And it seals up nicely. You can hear the engine, it sounds great. It's just beautiful. Let's jump in it and take it for a ride. We're inside the cabin right now. Dash is very nice. I see that the speaker grill has popped up a little bit. I'm not sure why. Uh, just check the vintage air. Vintage air is not turning on. We do have a radio that does operate. So it's an Alpine radio. We're gonna turn that off. You do have a glove box. And the vintage air, I'm sure it's something simple. We just didn't get to that. and. Um, That'll be for the next owner. We're just letting you know exactly how it is. Headliner's nice. I do see some, uh, some wrinkle imperfections up here. This does not look like the original material, but it shows well. Rear seat's very nice. Let's put it into drive. No banging into gear. I know the gas gauge is off because we ran out of gas yesterday. So just be be thoughtful of that if you drive it around. We put about 10 gallons in it. <coughs> I'm sorry, five gallons of it. Wow, I can't talk. We put about five gallons in it and it's showing half a tank, which it's been showing since we received it. There's no smoke upon startup. It's very smooth. Transmission shifts as it should. This is a really nice driver. Huh? You should put the top down. You want me to put the top down? I'll put the top down. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Let's put this top down for our journey. I'm sure he's going to fast forward this one because it takes a second. Listen to it. Uh, oh, yeah, buddy. That is so crazy. Yeah, it's like you're and transformers. It just doesn't look like it's supposed to do that. No, no, I and mean, you lose the whole entire trunk, by the way. But look at that. That is neat, we got somebody coming in. All right, we're good to go. Runs and drives as it should. It does have a nice exhaust note as well. Just shifted in a second. Brakes feel good, they are power assisted. This definitely, if you're driving this down the boulevard or by the beach, you're gonna turn heads, especially if you click that switch to put the top down. I always like to park it uh, with the top like halfway up so you can see all the inner workings of it. 57, retractable top, takes a minute to put down. in the right. We're going about 45 miles an hour. Hitting the brake right now, stopping evenly. Horn does not operate. Turn signal does operate. It does drive nice. When we received it, the tires were so old on it that uh, we got it off the trailer and I drove it around. I always drive the cars around when we get them just to see if, what notes we need to put on it before they go to the service center. And I felt like I was driving Fred Flintstone's car because the tires were so dry rotted. It's like <laughs> But now it rides nice. We're gonna take it right here so we can get you guys some beautiful artistic shots. 
you guys have any questions about this ride, you can reach us at 954-363-2261. We are five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport, so if you want to fly in to take a look at it, you're more than welcome to. We also offer shipping, so if you want to get a quote for this specific ride, just go to our website, click on the link that says transport, put the uh, vehicle VIN number in and the location, and we'll be able to get you a nice quote. Test drive, have a great day, see you later.